it looks like you all have done some good work out there, but the facts haven't changed. The the hunger is going to keep attacking this world until it's destroyed. We we've got to go. Not yet. Not yet. Please, please, please. I'm begging you all. We've been through so much. We've given up so much to make this work. I am begging you. Please let me do this. Please let me put up the barrier. There has to be, Lucretia, there has to be another way. Lucretia, if that spell goes off, you're going to sever every bond this world's got. This plane would be doomed. We got two choices, gang. We stay, and Lucretia's barrier cuts this world off from the rest of existence, or we run, and we try again next cycle. That's it. Two choices. It's it's time to decide. Um, there's a third option. As you, as, as you say that, Taco... The the crystal in Merle's pocket um, actually floats up out of his pocket and is glowing, and it shatters, and suddenly the area you're all standing in is filled with a thick white fog. And inside that fog, you all see visions of a bright future. Taco, you see yourself cooking up a feast in a fancy kitchen, and Loop is sitting there back in her body. And the two of you are laughing about a, a joke that you you can't quite hear. And Magnus, you're sitting under a tree at a park and you're watching Angus throw a frisbee to a, a big golden retriever. And Merle, you see the ocean and you see yourself splash up out of it and you're holding Mookie under one of your arms uh, and, and Mavis is like watching and laughing from the beach and you just pick Mookie up and launch him into the water as he cackles the whole way. Um, and Carrie and Killian are, are in this big cabin on a mountainside curled up on a couch both reading the same book and Lucretia's there and she's overseeing a, a crew of, uh, of workers who are building this massive library in the heart of a thriving rebuilt Neverwinter. And Lucretia's on the verge of tears as she sees this, and she says, What is this? What does this mean? I would like that one. Please. Yes, that one. That's this, it. this one that we just saw, I would like this, please. It, it, it means there is a happy ending if we get to it. We could close ourselves off, and we could run. There's a third option, though. Lucretia, your spell, um, could it keep the hunger bound? Could it cut the hunger off? Huh. 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 Listen, all that thing wants on Earth, the thing it wants more than anything else, we have been basically trolling it for a hundred years. <laughs> the only thing it wants is to pick us up and absorb us into itself. And I don't know about you all, but Taco's good out here. Um, (laughs) Lucretia says, that would work. But but, uh, I would have to be, I would have to be on the plane that I'm, I'm, I'm casting the spell over in order to do it. We would have to, we would have to get up there. Into the hunger. We had a ship that moved from plane to plane. And Davenport, what he he said, Davenport smiles and walks over to the Star Blaster, and he says, "I can get us up there. I, I, I know I can." You up for one last flight, old buddy? I'm so sorry. I, I was so myopic. I, I worked so hard on this plan. I gave up. I had blinders on, and I don't expect you all to forgive me, but I some... run over and hug her. I'll find a way to make it up, I promise. It's okay. Yeah, let me know how that works out. <laughs> Come on. Absolute, ah. uh, don't try to manufacture my, my character growth. No way. <laughs> Absolutely um, not. Lucretia, dear, I've already forgotten about the whole thing. Oh, oh, sorry, bad choice of words. And she laughs, and Lucretia just, like, bursts out laughing. And the two of them, like, embrace, even though 
like Loop is intangible and Lucretia boards the ship.